Underworld 1. Vampires and Lycans, or werewolves, have been fighting for years. A vampire named Craven kills the Lycan leader Lucian and becomes the second in command. Selene, a vampire and death dealer assassin, learns that the Lycans want a medical student named Michael. She rescues him and is chased by Lucian, still alive after all. Michael gets bitten. Selene suspects that Craven lied about Lucian's death. She returns to base and prematurely awakens an elder vampire named Victor. He dismisses her doubts about Craven and reminds her that another elder, Marcus, was meant to be awakened before him. She reveals to Michael that Victor adopted and turned her after her parents' death. The Lycans capture Michael, Selene captures their scientist named Singe. Michael learns that Lucian was in love with Victor's daughter, Sonia, years ago, so Victor murdered her. Craven claims that Lycans were once slaves to vampires and the war was the Lycans' choice. Sind reveals that Selene was correct about Craven lying and that Michael is a descendant of a common ancestor between the two races. Michael could become a hybrid with his Corvinus bloodstream. Selene rescues Michael. Craven kills Lucian. Craven tells Selene that Victor actually killed her parents. Michael allows Selene to bite him to become the hybrid. Victor admits to Selene that he killed her parents, so Selene kills him. Selene and Michael escape. Marcus awakens. Underworld 2 Evolution Year 1202 Marcus, Victor and Amelia capture Marcus's twin brother William Corvinus, the first werewolf, and imprison him. Present day, the vampire compound. Selene takes Michael to a safe house. Marcus awakens and kills Craven. Lorenz Marcaro sends a team of cleaners into the Lycan's lair. He finds a disc on Victor's corpse which matches his daughter, Sonia's. Michael has the other half. Marcus attacks Selene and Michael so they hide. They now know that the pendant is important. They go to meet vampire historian Andreas Tannis. He reveals that Marcus was the first ever vampire after being bitten by a bat, and his brother William bitten by a wolf to become the first werewolf, both sons of Corvinus, the first immortal. Long ago, Marcus asked Victor, then mortal, to kill William, in exchange for immortalising Victor as a vampire. Tannis reveals that Selene's father built William's prison, and that's why Victor killed Selene's family. The pendant is the key, and the location is encoded in Selene's blood. He sends them to Macaro. Marcus kills Tannis and drinks his blood to learn of Selene and Michael's destination. They learn that Macaro is actually Corvinus. He refuses to help Selene kill William and Marcus. Marcus arrives and impales Michael. He drinks Selene's blood to learn the prison location, then kills Corvinus. He reveals that he intends to rule the world with more hybrids. Selene drinks Corvinus's blood to gain more strength and abilities. She he leads Corvinus's cleaners to the prison, but Marcus has already freed William. William bites the cleaners, turning them into werewolves. Michael wakes up and kills William. Selene kills Marcus. She learns that she is now immune to sunlight. Underworld 3, Rise of the Lycans. Flashback. Victor kills the mother of Lucian, the first werewolf capable of taking human form, and raises him, envisioning his werewolf race as slaves in the future. Humans ask Victor's help to protect them from other werewolves. As Lucian grows up, he and Victor's daughter Sonia fall in love. One day, he rescues her from other werewolves. Victor still punishes him for escaping. Sonia trades her seat on the Vampire Council to work towards helping Lucian escape. Victor bites her to taste her blood and reveal her secrets, so imprisons her. Meanwhile, Lucian recruits humans and werewolves to fight vampires. The Vampire Council demands that Victor defeat Lucian, but he confidently claims that Lucian will return to see Sonia. Lucian tries to rescue Sonia, but is stopped by Victor. She reveals that she is pregnant with Lucian's child, so Victor imprisons them both. The Council and Victor execute her in front of Lucian. Victor retrieves her pendant. Lucian summons the other werewolves to attack the fortress and several vampire elders are killed. He and Victor fight. Lucian stabs Victor and leaves him for dead. Lucian knows that this is only the beginning of the war. Victor survives and is placed in a hibernation chamber by Tannis. Craven reveals to Selene that Victor killed her family but spared her because she reminded him of Sonya. Underworld 4 Awakening A few years after the second film, the Vampire Lycan War is widely acknowledged by the world. Humans want to study them, so capture Selene and Michael, with Selene put in cryogenic suspension. After 12 years of humans killing vampires and lichens, Selene escapes. She believes that Michael has escaped as well. While escaping, she has visions from someone else's perspective and ends up in a maze of tunnels. She meets a young vampire called David who has been tracking her. They see weakened lichens who are hunting the person that Selene had visions of. She fights her way through and meets the mystery person, a confused young girl. They both escape with David and are attacked by a trio of lichens. The girl is bitten and partially transforms as a ferocious hybrid. Selene realises she is her and Michael's daughter. She reveals that she deactivated Selene's tank to allow her to escape. David takes them to his cover. The girl drinks blood to heal. David tries to persuade Selene to lead an attack against the humans. The coven gets attacked by lichens and a super lichen. When she awakens later, she finds that Thomas, David's father, has surrendered her daughter to the lichens in return for them leaving. Selene revives David with blood. 
She confronts a human detective named Sebastian who previously lost his vampire wife. Sebastian confirms that the lichens have been traced to Antigen, the corporation dedicated to killing off the immortal species, and which also runs the facility from which Selene escaped. Selene discovers that Antigen is actually run by lichens, who have been posing as humans in order to trick the world's governments into believing the lichens are extinct. Dr. Jacob Lane needs Selene's daughter's DNA to perfect the lichen race. The super lichen from earlier is his son, Quint, and the prototype. Selene and Sebastian assault Antigen to stop Lane and save her daughter, who they call Eve. Selene finds Subject Zero, who is actually Michael, and starts to free him but has to leave. David arrives and helps Sebastian kill Lycans. Selene fights Quint and kills him with a silver grenade by tricking him into transforming into a human. As the police arrive, Sebastian urges the vampires to flee and distracts the officers. Selene, Eve and David return to Michael's tank and find it empty with the ice shattered. Selene states that the world will be hunting Michael and the trio vow to find him first. Underworld 5, Blood Wars. Lycans have almost eradicated vampires. Both seek Selene. The vampires want her to avenge Victor, and the Lycans want her to find Eve so they can build a hybrid army. Samira from the Vampire Council wants Selene to train Death Dealers, so asks Thomas to pardon Selene's case before the Council. They agree. On Samira's request, Varga kills the trainees and frames Selene. Samira kidnaps Selene and drains her blood to steal her power. Thomas and David try to rescue Selene. Thomas is killed, but Selene and David escape. They go to the Nordic Coven. At Vandur, the Nordic Coven stronghold, Elder Vida reveals that David is the son of the High Elder Amelia, and thus the legitimate heir to the Eastern Coven. Meanwhile, Alexia, a vampire pursuing Selene, tells Marius, the Lycan leader, where Selene is. Marius and the Lycans attack. Vida's daughter, Lena, fights with Selene and David. Alexia stabs Selene. She drinks Selene's blood to confirm that Selene does not know where Eve is. Selene follows the path under an icy lake. Eastern Coven. Samira drinks Selene's blood, then kills Alexia for her treachery. David returns as the rightful heir instead of Selene. Samira is imprisoned. Marius and the Lycans attack. We learn that Selene has been resurrected with new powers by the Nordic Coven. She joins the fight and kills Lycans. Meanwhile, Samira escapes from her cell. Some of Marcus's blood drops into Selene's lips, so she sees his memories of Michael and how he captured him and drained Michael's blood. To counter the sadness, she bites her own wrist to see happy memories of Michael. She kills Marius. David kills Samira. He demands that Lycans leave. Selene, David, and Lena are the new chosen elders. It's revealed that when Selene was resurrected, she contacted Eve, who had been following her mother through the telepathic link, as she has anticipated. Thank you for watching that, everybody. If it was a good help to you, then please leave a like under this video and comment what you'd like me to recap next. My name is George, this is Jam Punch, and I'll see you next week.